Hi guys, this is AJ Audits. I'm at the Met Place Marine Unit Open Day at Wapping. I'm going to see what going to be happening here. Hopefully, get to speak to a few of the officers about what what they do and so on. So, we'll get back to you shortly. Right, we've got the drone unit here. He's just gone off to get a couple of bits, so these are the types of drone they use. This is the photo kite, which is tethered. Helicopters and drones, I think. Yeah, helicopters. It's coming over later. All right. Land. It's going to fly over later. How long are you here for? I'll be able to see when it's coming in. Yeah, you, you will be. Yeah, we've got the airport unit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. You've got it on the um, on the radar. Yeah. Most flight trackers do this. They don't show you in the military type aircraft, police, air ambulance. They don't show you that. Me, though, I've got an unscheduled one, so I can see all of them. Very good. You know, when the Queen's body was being returned back to London, I was able to track her plane the whole way. Oh, okay. Back here, the plane should be gone. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. DB's talking to PC for Sands from the air unit. They're using drones a lot more because the helicopters are they're expensive and far away, um, but they're still useful. Um, they've got police officers on board. Possibly, yeah, we just need to. Um... I'll tell you what, I'd rather have a drone flying over than a helicopter. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty noisy, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't think helicopters are going anywhere for a while. TV's um, talking to. So we'll see. We'll see the thing thing is, I can tell the difference between an air and helicopter and a police helicopter. And the way I can tell the difference is because an air and helicopter just sounds like an air and helicopter. Yeah. I believe they're probably both. What, what model is the police helicopter? So the police helicopter over London is an EC-145. Eurocopter. Yes, they are getting EC-135s fairly soon. They're replacing them with EC-135s. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, the police helicopter Yeah, so the EC-135 is a... The current one. So the rest of the country have got EC-135s. Just London have got 145s, um, and the air ambulance will be getting the 135s fairly soon. They're, they're, well, they've already got the new ones, they're just training them. Yeah, they're training them up on them now, yeah. Yeah, I, was in, I went, went over to Germany and saw them on the production line, the new air ambulances. So they should be... Yeah. So the difference between them? Yeah. Well, I have to get learn the new ones, the new yeah. air ambulance, obviously. Yeah. The current air ambulance, the current police helicopter, I'll tell the difference. Even though they look the same, yes, yeah? just different markings. Yeah, because the air ambulance one sounds like a helicopter. <laughs> the police air ambulance helicopter just sounds like a, just sounds annoying. <laughs> it just sounds like a few police officers on a power trip to try and annoy everyone. That's not what we do. <laughs> Believe me. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, but that's that's not what we're there for. We only. Particularly at night, only fly if we have to, if there's something going on. You've got a complaint with them so. past London, though. Yeah? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Um, you know your ex The what? The NPAC. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw a post one time. Let us know if you have any requests for pictures that you might want. Mm -hmm. I wrote that I want a picture of Catford. Yeah. Or like the amount of bark and all that over there. Mm -hmm. so they're, not posted, they're not posting a picture. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, I'll um, I'll see if I can speak to them and find out if they can put one on there. If you look back through the X page, you'll find yeah. it. All right, okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Definitely. Cool, right. If, you're, if they can, which you one? Oh, they always have loads. If they can, they, they do, but it depends. It's different people every day, so someone might miss it and it might not get through. So they don't, they don't, it's, it, if it's a different person, it comes on duty and they miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, it's not the pilot. No. No. But there's a police officer in the front. Can I get that from me? Alright, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. 
they've got a lot of other things in front of them to watch and look at so the, the, the X pages and all those pictures are kind of secondary to what we do if we've got time we, we'll do that the, 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 the police job comes first we can't do special flights just to take pictures that wouldn't be a good use of public money would it well not so not much it's not, a, money not an expert I'm not an expert I wouldn't call myself an expert you can speak thing. to the firearms team if you need to no 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 not here no firearms are part you know have to pay out on civil pay that's a different story altogether isn't it so we'll leave that one there I think right yeah air rifle you mean yeah, I was going to say rifles, yeah, no, I definitely, that, there is a, but air rifles, it all depends on the power square inch. Yeah, it's a difficult political situation, so, yeah. Are you going to test my... Um, if you want to speak to the helicopter guys, they are over there, they're in the park, so you can speak to them quite happily. As much as I, you know, I don't know what the, uh, but I think obviously, how it looks, with an air rifle. The bird of prey won't do very well out of that. Then it definitely could be. Yeah, so you might call it yeah. the pounds per square yeah, inch. Yeah. It's the uh, yeah. yeah. It's the power of the air. You can have a biscuit. Help yourself. <laughs> Very possibly. Very possibly. But let's not get to that stage. Let's not do that. Yeah. I've been on the Thames Police boat. Have you? Oh, cool. Only one. Yeah. No, the normal one. Yeah. Cool. Was that good fun? <laughs> Yeah, we're speeding up and down the Thames with the blue lights yeah, and the siren flashing. Cool, sounds good fun. I was on the police work experience. Right? Yeah. I came to work because I wasn't really much of work. We've done a little bit of learning on fingerprints and yeah. stuff I've taken. Yeah. I think most of you just go over there and have a fun. And one of the days I went there, we got driven a police van down to North Greenwich. Mm -hmm. Police boat. Picked us up from there. We didn't even have to come all the way over here. They picked us up from uh, North Greenwich. Oh, fantastic. We spent right. a day going up and down. Yeah. So you've got an air rifle now. Oh, that that's all right. Go on. That's not a bad day. day. Careful, yeah. they've turned up to shoot. You want to know whether you can use them somewhere? Or... ARV's here. Watch your back because they're ones that shoot them. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's not a canister. Yeah, I've noticed that. Up at Lippitz Hill, yeah. that you've got no drone signs on the outside. Yes. I can understand why that is, but I'm surprised there's no geofence there. It's not been put in place. We haven't got, we haven't got that um, facility at the moment. Right, with it straightforward to see that space change. So, yeah, with it being an airbase, you'd think there would be a geo fence in place. You would think so, but it's not that straightforward, unfortunately. Um, it may happen in the future, but it's not at the moment. It's not. I mean, obviously, you can Yeah. Me personally, what I'd do if I don't have a drug yet, mm -hmm. I'd yeah. be if I did. Because no, it's all different, it depends on what type of slug you use. It depends on how it is. a lot of variants. Yeah. 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 My colleague, you know, who's not here, has got an air rifle. He knows quite a lot about air rifles. But security don't necessarily know when the helicopter is taking off. They're not related. The you need to they shoot it, how far it will shoot it. Some will be less of a radio. They don't have radio communications with them. So it's not that straightforward. They should, but they don't. That's, that's not their, part of their job. They're there to make sure people don't get off to the side. Yeah. Some of them you're do you ever do tours of the airbase? So do you actually have open days up at the airbase or not? No, generally not. It's something we probably would do if we could, no if we idea. had the time and the capacity, but there's hardly any staff. It's not achievable at the moment. At certain levels, you right. have a Could it be nice to actually be able to go no, up there and... I, honestly, I'd love to show a, people around. It's a fantastic site. Yeah. But it's, but not, need a fire um, it's not something we're, um, we can achieve at the moment. Yeah, because I know it's an old air, yeah. air base. I would speak yeah. to the... I think yeah. it's like the firearms inquiry team. And if I'm like right, do they store the, the air ambulance no. there? No, no, no they'll, give more, they'll give you more expert they advice are than at, I will. Is it Old Street? Where about Denham? Denham. Denham. Street, yeah, that's where, it's where their ambulance is. Yeah. So oh, it's Denham, right. right. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then they fly to the Royal yeah. London. Yeah, well, there you go. Northolt, yeah. Uh, they fly to the Royal London in the morning, 
yeah. position themselves there yeah, and then they makes, deploy from there every day. Um, but yeah, I still yeah. think it's Anything about the air just how it looks. I don't know what... Well, you can be leading one of them too. Yes. Oh, right, OK, cool. Running Running around. Oh, fantastic. That's really cool. It's really good. You know, one of the annoying buggers in the high screen that keep stopping you to talk about the air and talk about the air. It would do. It would do. Yeah, no, but it would go. Cool. I mean, one it was of a public part, and, and I was a person who'd never seen a gun yeah. in my life. No, well, one day maybe. I can't promise anything. So, therefore, it looks like somebody's got a yeah. long barreled yeah. weapon. Um, in I their, don't know how we'll sort that out, but it may be one day we do an open day again or we land somewhere. We used to do quite a lot. If you showed me one right now, if it had a canister in it or some kind of valve. Yeah, like, say, probably oh, not. I'd probably be able to have a look at it and um, say, yeah, it's an air rifle. No. I'd say no. Not when there's it's not that straightforward. Let's not. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah you no, keep, not, you um, cart, not easily, no. The air ambulance visited you not once. Yeah. Not that long ago. Yeah. You put a photo on X. Our friends have just come to see Yeah, sometimes they'll land. Sometimes if they want so fuel, they can come in and, and get fuel from us. when you go to the park. Um, yeah. You, yeah. you don't charge them for it, I do think you? it's a bit of a recipe um, for, That's uh, nothing to do with me. I don't know. That's I'm sure office staff. Don't that's charge all that's them. Yeah. I, I don't know what happens. Don't, don't charge them, please, because <laughs> no. you never know when you might need them. You no. know? You're, you're totally right, but I don't get involved with that, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Whoever, whoever is, please. Yeah, please I, I, say I, say I, look, the air ambulance comes, we've been told, please don't charge them. You never know when you might need them. I'm sure, yeah. It's all control. Yeah, sure. No, definitely not. Definitely not. That was quite interesting, actually. Yeah, you can should we go across the road then? Yeah, gone in the canteen area. Come on, we'll go across the road. I'll get back to you shortly. Good luck. Do you fit in your pocket? Fit <laughs> the car? Yeah, fit in our car. <laughs> I think the cat might have something to say about it though. <laughs> yeah, well, he's not a fan of cats. Well, he is actually, but cats aren't a fan of him. Beach dog, five months old. Yeah. Beautiful little thing. Yep. Yeah, with the police dog unit. <laughs> With one of the trainee dogs. Gorgeous. Very cute. Yeah. He has to be with you all the time. Yeah, he comes with me, yeah. So he lives with me, he comes to work with me. Um, if I go on holiday, then there's special police kennels that he has to go into. He has to be looked after by like trained handlers and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 It's not Bengals. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, they're a big cat, aren't they? Good boy, Max. It's just exciting with all people yeah. here. We've not done an event like this before where there's so many people, so he's probably a bit overwhelmed. But yeah. Good exposure for him. Get him used to people. Get him used to it, yeah. <laughs> I think he should just start his normal training. Sorry? I take it he's started his training now. Yeah, yeah, he started it from like eight weeks old, so yeah, so it's a when... long road for us, but um, yeah, he's all he's doing well so far. He is keen. He just wants I don't to play. Know what it is with little kids, he's just like, oh, who are these little people running around? He just wants to play. That's what he's barking at. <laughs> five months old so he's still in training at the moment yeah, yeah he's not fully licensed <laughs> yeah Max. yeah so he's, he's still training and then we start our course with him in september 25 yeah. um, 
yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a whole year away. Yeah. 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 So they have to be pretty grown because of the yeah. nature of the stuff that they do, jumping fences, yeah. unfortunately getting attacked by people and stuff, they have to make sure their bones and stuff are like fully formed before that they okay. can do the tree. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so sort of the... So here's what we call a general purpose dog. So yeah. the easy thing is quite a good variety dog. So he'll be sent to detain people, public order, protest. Right. Right, we've got the special escort group here. This is one of the motorbikes they use. And police outrider. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see if I can speak to one of the officers. Probably, probably one of the outriders here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me filming. No, I'm not filming that. Right, you're one of the special escort group special outriders. Group, yeah. So basically, what does your job entail? My job entails. Um, Obviously, I'll get armed protection for the uh, Prime Minister or the yep. family or any heads of state where the risk is um, necessary to be protected in that way. So, yeah. yeah, so basically, you're one of the pe people on the bikes that goes yes. in front and yes. stops all the traffic. Yes, right, stops all the traffic. Okay. Make yeah. sure we get through the traffic. So, so, yeah. The moving target's harder than anything else, so that's what we do. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bikes we use at the moment, the BMW R200 RS. Yeah, I thought it was a 1200. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it used to be the R1, so you used to use it first when they first came out. Yeah, well, a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, now you moved up to the 1200s. Yeah, we had Honda last time, but we moved yeah. back to BMW. Very capable bike. Isn't that nice bike? You're back again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I see the kids are having fun with the, yeah, nice. Nice with the car. Yeah, they're nice. Nice to get Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Alright, <laughs> getting on? <laughs> right, I won't get that. There's a young kid going to get on the bike. So that's the work of the <laughs> special escort group. Oh, just about. Charlie! Get a oh. Right, this is the task force for different areas. And they cover. Yeah, it's not a bad turnout. I've got CSG here. What? <laughs> I think I've met him before. <laughs> Well, so do you know what people think? We're not to to I think I met him before. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, specifically just London City Airport, where we're from. Uh, yep. Yeah. What is it you'd like to know? Just basically what your role is, what type of things you do. What we do, so we patrol the airport, city airport, keeping everyone safe at the yep. city airport. Um, yeah, we're only armed officers at the airport, so we're, we're firearms trained. Um, and obviously we're... Um, First aid trains as well, so we have uh, ballistic yep. first aid trains. Yeah. We have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, and this is our kit basically. So this is my um, my specific vest. Yeah, basically. With everything on it. <laughs> Body worn camera. Yeah. Radio. Yeah, secure. Handcuffs. Yeah. Parva. So oh, that stuff. Um, and then some ammunition pouch here. Yeah. And then I've got my belt as well. 
which I'd have ammunition and my sidearm in. Yep. So, my gear, basically. Right. You didn't bring the actual weapons. <laughs> we didn't today. No, no. Because no, there's two of us and <laughs> yeah. one of us needs to go somewhere. The other, the other units have, if you go and speak to them. So the, I'm just on SAR here? Yeah, yeah, they're just like that. All right, then. Okay, I'll go and find them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what weapons do you actually carry? So we, uh, in the picture, yep. so I carry this one, a G36. Yep. And then the Taser, and that's a Glock 17. It's a Glock 17. Three, three guns, dry armed. Yeah. Yep, and the other one? The other one above it is an MP5. Uh, so yeah. they're kind of getting phased out because they yeah. fire a 9mm round, which is the same as the Glock, where this yep. one fires a more powerful round. It's a 5.56 round, so it's a much more powerful rifle. Yep. <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how it works. Yeah, this is Yeah. And also, you know, whoever thought you'd go into a bank with a mask on and ask for some money. Yeah, this is the equivalent of the bomb squad. No one ever goes to banks anymore, do they? There isn't. That's nice, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, just let you know I'm recording. All right. Oh, yeah. Could you tell us what, what department you are and what you actually do? We're the Met Police's EOD team, on this phase team. Yeah, so it's the equivalent of the Army Bomb disposal. Yes. But, uh, so we cover in London, uh, yep. where the Army cover nationally. So and it that, comes out, that's yeah, the back basics, back really. Back so back from... Ordnance, yeah, all the way through to uh, national threat sort of stuff. Yeah, and uh, did I see a ga- Geiger counter on there? Uh, that has, yes. Yeah, I thought it was. So that's just some of our detector for the location one that we've got. Yeah, the bomb squad. Bomb squad. Is that? Yep. So yes. So base that. So uh, we've got an X-ray system. Yep. This is a bomb squad. <laughs> yep. So basically, you're dealing with things like World War Two ordnance. Yeah. Because mainly. Are, mainly. Uh, that's our bread and butter. Still. As we yeah. Got, uh, that's from the last week. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. And then we got yeah up to national front sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, because the robot in front. Yeah, because I noticed the robot which is over, over there. That one. That is a uh, manual stand for a disruptor. So yeah. That is, uh, the metal tubes are disruptors. They fire water through the device. So it's water. Yeah. 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 Uh, but they still don't cut it. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, Especially looking inside the cartridges. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you see some of the James Bond movies. That's where your taxpayers' money's going. <laughs> yeah, and you've got the old. No. I mean, this is what we do with the most. All World War Two stuff. Detonation stuff. Is that C4 you use? What? You take out the country. With the detonator. Uh, it's a, a, a version of explosives. Yep. A version of C4, basically. Well, anything's got an element of that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, these ones here, you said they were found yes, in the last so week. Been, yeah. Should I take them out of there? Put them in the hollow of the lamp. Because some of them look like they are... Have you been to Belgium? <laughs> Solid. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. worse. And they just come up, the ordinance comes up. From a tank, basically, that size. Well, a lot of it has been dropped. But, uh, yeah. It's just inert. They're just solid lumps that were dropped. Yeah, just to... I've got bulk up the load of the green drop, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Some have explosives. Mad, isn't it? Some, some as these, were just literally solid, solid lumps of metal dropped on the front of concrete and tar and all that. And there aren't ever bits and pieces for ballast. But they still cause fucking damage. Yeah. Because I've, I've noticed, I think it's Bexley Heath, they've got a... Uh, the remnants of a bomb 
outside the station. I'm not sure of that. It is Brexit Heath, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because there was one found near nearby and they converted it into a flower pot type thing. Oh, yeah. So, Grand Granddad brought that back from the war. And left it on, yeah. left it on top of the shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like? Yeah, that's a kind of bread and butter, yeah, really. So. Yeah. So these ones up here, you've got the destructors. That's a uh, what? Fifty mil? Some of them are. Some of them have still got fuses in them. Well, this. That's why we sort of. Yeah. They're quite easy to tell now. But just take that off. But there's two types of this one. Is this one? And there's a mills. This is a mills. Oh, that is a mills. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got. That's a mills. It's just fine. That's like that's heavier. Yeah. That's dated. Yeah. So how would you like this when you was on the field? Just to take the off. Well, no, they'd all come pre-done, so they'd always have to fuse it in, and then they've got a spring underneath it. Yeah. So they've got a few uh, springs. Well, it depends if you remove the fuse safety pin before you fire it. Pull that out. But like those yeah, like, like, and you've got your five to seven well, seconds to, to run. So, <laughs> so you've got the hand on there. Yeah, the, the mill. Yeah, that's the old mill hand grenade. So, you pull that out. Yeah. Hold your hand on that. And don't pull it out. Pull that out. That, that would then spring, and then you'd have seven seconds. You throw it over the top of the trench. And then it would explode in their trench. Does it still explode? What? If I pull it out and hold it, it'll be okay. But if I release that, then that's a fire. Yeah, so you've got a tire and a tire. Yeah, so we've got a tire. Oh, yeah. That thing's massive. So, you know, when you play Call of Duty, have you ever played it? Have you ever thrown a grenade? It doesn't go off immediately, does it? Or otherwise, you'd be dead. So there's a timer, normally about seven seconds or so. What are those big ones down there? They're big shells. Dropped out of plane from, so that they will bombs from the wall. So that's quite a big shell, that it is. That one there, but that, they are just full of metal, that one. So some without any explosives in, so they didn't go bang, and some did. Uh, because they started running out of stuff to go bang all the time. Most and it's more expensive, so he just made solid shells. But still, if they land on your house and you smash your house up, yeah. and do a lot of damage, you can kill someone, but uh, they won't make a bit of bang and so. Yeah, with your vest, so have you got them? They're just a standard vest, aren't they? No, these, these are the ballistic vests. Yeah. That is a, uh, whereas a normal Met vest is, uh, these are for rifle, sort of. Yeah, so garment. those ones are bulletproof, basically. Yeah. The ones that the normal police use are only just stab proof. And 9 All the dredges. So you've got an element. Yeah. And from Somerset, well, the Army Rangers. Yes. Have you felt the weight of them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they've got some of the old cars from the Morris Minor, the Rover SD1, up to the modern day BMW. Five thirty, I think it was. Wow. See something like this is that Wow. <laughs> That's still in good nick for its age. Good Morris Minor. Yeah, that's going to be the three and a half litre one. Yeah. 
Agree. For those of you that remember, the old tax discs. <laughs> Is it the three and a half litre? Yep. Three and a half litre SE. Yeah, it's been an interesting day today at the open day. Got to speak to a couple of people, a couple of the units that were here. I didn't get to speak to them all. So from Wapping Police Marine Base and the open day, this is AJ Audits signing off.